surprised that this movie is actually doing, you know. This is the international box office, of course. So they act so unlike the Spider-Man we released, they actually released Avatar internationally. We and it made 3.5 million in the international box office. And it's actually pretty impressive for a movie that it was released in the box office. They don't have uh, do you have the US numbers? Moves, but yeah, don't worry, darling. But is opening to surprise the box office landed around twenty one million dollars. Which again is not too. Which is pretty impressive, considering the fact that Don't Worry, Darling is not a part of a franchise. Of course, you know it is outselling the Woman King, which was a box office failure, but. It's not going to be a too impressive week of the box office. Avatar's re-release opened with 3.1 million. I think that's what, or that, that's the Thursday previews. But Avatar opened with around a similar amount of numbers. And the Woman King expected to drop to around 10 million. Yeah, Avatar's expected to end around 9 million. Apparently there is some interest for Avatar. But we'll be waiting to see what happens with Avatar 2. Because it really depends on the reception of the film. Is Avatar 2 woke or not? You know. If Avatar 2 is... You know, Avatar... It really depends on if the movie's woke or not. It really does depend. If the movie's woke... No one's going to watch it. Because it's... it's gonna, people going to lose interest in it. Okay? It happened to Buzz White Yell. Okay? People had... There was a large interest in Buzz White Yell Until the movie turned out to be a complete woke cast grab. You know, they removed, of course, I think there was still, I think a large part of interest left was, you know, Tim Allen being replaced, and also the fact that this movie was, and then when this movie came out, people criticized there was a rip-off of Star Wars, basically. But, I don't think Avatar 2 will pass the first movie. I don't think it will even pass Top Gun Maverick. That would be pretty hilarious if it doesn't pop, pass that. That would be pretty hilarious, but expected if it doesn't pass. You know, Top Gun. But I yeah, don't worry, Dolly. Where it's again, it's overperforming because, of course, I expected it to underperform because there was backlash to this movie. And of course, Don't Worry, Dolly is not a part of a franchise, which is the biggest negative that any modern movie can have now. You know, of course, movies that are not part of a franchise could still make money. Of course, everything I all at once, uh, The Lost City, uh, of course, uh, those well, the Quadad sing, you know, being a super hit, the bad guys, okay. But a lot of these movies don't really make that much money anymore, okay. But this month is basically the chance to basically show off, hey, we can still make money at the box office, and they're still opening to twenty to nineteen, ten millions, which. You know, it's not the 40 million to 50 million like people I think were hoping for for these types of movies. We haven't had a 50 plus million opening for a non franchise movie this year. The closest we had was Nope. Okay. Which Nope is eventually going to make back its money for the, at the box office internationally sales. You know, as well. You know, for being for a movie being on power fantasy is a big uphill crime. A big uphill crime for. Movies like Don't Worry, Darling. You know, Avatar has also gained a real release in fears, but it's only going to make $9 million. You know, mostly, I think most people who are going to see it are going to see it for the Avatar 2 footage. And then next week, it's going to drop massively like Spider-Man The Way Home. J the Jaws and E.T. re-releases did. Because typically these re-releases, they have big openings. Like Spider-Man The Way Home's re-release. Then it'll drop like 70% because most of the people... Who have interest in seeing this movie again. Again for the bonus content. Don't really see it next week. But this does bode well for Avatar 2. Because there is at least some interest for Avatar. As a series. That I thought. I thought, I would, I thought Avatar was really useful. It's like maybe like 5 million or something. Similar to Spider-Man. But there was at least some interest for Avatar. Maybe I should take back my comment to Avatar 2 or flop. Flop. But we will wait to go see. Because. It really depends on the quality of the movie. Okay. 
there are people, especially James Cameron fans, who are actually excited for this movie because James Cameron is one of the few directors that still has a fan base besides, you know, Jordan Peele and I think, of course, Tarantino. But, yeah. Don't worry, darling. Again, we don't know the budget for Don't Worry, darling, as well. Actually, it needs to make probably a $35 million budget, so it needs to make around... 75 to 80 million dollars to break even. Which means, and also, this is made by the. No wonder why this movie. Ha, no wonder why this movie is hated. It is made by the same boys who made Book Smart. <clears throat> which, of course, we all remember the most forgettable comedy of all time. Okay? The most forgettable movie of all time. Despite every, you know, main YouTuber saying, Oh my god, Book Smart, the new classic comedy. Book Smart, yeah, no one talks about Book Smart anymore. No, no one talks about Book Smart, okay? No one talks about Book Smart, okay? No one does. No one does talk about Book Smart anymore. Because nobody cares about Book Smart. Because Book Smart bombed at the box office, okay? <clears throat> I won't be surprised if Don't Worry Down bombs and then nobody will uh, ride the skits. Another box office failure at a. Uh, you know, mocking as, uh, another box of it. I don't know, but I think Booksmart's budget was, like, 10 million, and maybe, like, 22 million, which means Booksmart did lose 3 million dollars at the box office. Yeah, Booksmart still lost money, so, yeah. But it still probably made money for Blu-ray, DVD, uh, digital and stuff. It's 3 million, is not that hard to make up. But, yeah, don't worry, darling, again, another one of Olivia Weld's next, no, box office failures, okay, Everything Olivia Wilde makes is box office poison, basically. It's no one's gonna watch it. Of course, it doesn't help that he makes non-franchise movies, which, you know, does not help the case for Booksmart and Don't Worry Darling, because Booksmart released alongside Aladdin remake, which is another reason why it bombed, because people are gonna go see the franchise movie over the non-franchise movie. You know, that's basically the fact of the modern box office, okay? Box office, the current modern box office, <clears throat> revolves around the franchise. Doesn't revolve around how great a movie is, because people who have trust the critics, okay, it revolves around the franchise. It revolves around being the next part of the big franchise. Okay. And yep, that's basically what this video. Goodbye.